Supreme Court is back in session this morning for the first time in a couple of weeks, and somebody has showed up today who's been absent for a little bit. NBC's Pete Williams is at the court with more. Pete, we're talking about Justice Ginsburg, right? <laughs> Is that what we're talking about? Yes, of course. Ruth Bader Ginsburg back on the bench today. Welcome back to the Trigger Newscast. Today is March 5th, 2019. I have some breaking news and information on Ruth Bader Ginsburg's online death records. Evidence, as many claim, to her death, being that her late husband, Martin D. Ginsburg, was also listed on the death certificate and that the ages apparently match up. Well, this is not necessarily true, as Martin Ginsburg died at 76 in his home, and obviously as a public figure, online death records would indicate the exact year of his death and not misreport them. It's also important to take into consideration the source that has first brought this to light. It's a self-proclaimed flat earther on, you guessed it, the flatearthsociety.com. Another important note is that relating Q and Q map, which many of you may be familiar with, no references to RBG's death have yet been issued by Q. So look forward to more Q drops to see if anything is hinted about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But as of yet, it doesn't appear that there's been any inside claims of her death. Secondarily, it's important to note that the much more important evidence to Ruth Ginsburg's apparent disappearance is the Fox News misreport of her death. Now, the reason this is important is because this took a lot of time to pass through the hands of editors to the videographers, graphics department, and then to be switched on during the broadcast. This level of preparation to display her memorial is obvious evidence that somebody had related information or the possible information that she may have passed away. Now, there are fair news reporting laws and different judicial and jurisprudence regarding information that is spread through the news about death reports. And Fox, being one of the mainstream media outlets, well aware of liable defamation and privacy laws, would not violate this arrangement, for the penalties are extremely severe even to major broadcasting companies. So just what enticed Fox News to go through all that time and effort? What document did they see? What inside source tapped in and told them Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away? This is where the people seeking truth need to start focusing their attention, not on the rabbit trail that leads back to the Flat Earth Society, but to the evidence that's verifiable. I'm not trying to substantiate claim that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is in fact dead. What I am, however, suggesting is that instead of following a rabbit trail, that we refocus our efforts where they're most needed. As I dig deeper, I'll keep you updated, but please hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you get notifications of all videos going forward. Please share this message so that others might focus where it's truly needed in finding out what's happened to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This has been a Triggered Newscast.